PRK is more of a historical term. PRK was the first treatments we did in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, where we just simply took away the surface layer of cells from the cornea. This is a layer called the epithelium. And there were various ways of doing that. Um, but once having removed those layers of cells, we could then do PRK laser treatment on the front of the cornea. Now that was a very basic technique and it had lots of drawbacks and lots of limitations. With LASEK, LASEK itself is a very, very similar technique to PRK. Some purists would say that they're identical. When LASEK was first described, it was the use of alcohol on the corneal surface to take the epithelial layer off. That was the difference. And so LASIK classically was designed to take the epithelial layer off to one side, do the laser, and then put the epithelium back again. In other words, you were replacing the surface layer uh, with the epithelium, or covering the cornea with the epithelium that you just removed. Now, it's been very difficult over the years to prove that there's any difference between PRK and LASIK. And lots of surgeons now no longer keep the epithelial surface. They take it off with alcohol, and they throw it away, so that there's no longer that old epithelium getting in the way of the healing process. You start off with a surface that's very similar to the PRK treatment, and then it takes a few days for the healthy epithelium to grow back and to cover over the cornea in exactly the same way as if you scratched the back of your hand. It would take a few days for the scratch to heal over. So in fact, LASIK and PRK, some would say, are hard to separate out. One is a historical term, and the other is the one, the one we tend to use nowadays, which is the modern version.